So yeah, uh, we have all these nesses and uh, oh, the scores aren't reset, so let's uh, reset that score and uh, let the game begin. Your commentary. Oh. You mean to have you suck? Be quiet. All right, so game one, everything looks uh, fairly even for the most part. I don't know why Frozen opted for Greninja this game. Maybe just for fun. Maybe just for uh, just because you think the best pick. And there goes two stocks really quick. Games are still looking very even. Yo, Dimitra, why didn't you come today? And there goes Grenada's first stock, giving the red team the first big advantage of this match. And there goes uh, Calculus' stock, giving them the second big advantage of this match. Oh, an amazing tech. Oh, okay. And they've lost Calculus. And TJ. <coughs> this is not looking good for Blue Team. It is a maybe doable, but so it's going to be a little harder. All right, Skylofton, why didn't you come today? And we have Skynerd coming back to the stream. And that bat is going to take the stock. So let me get this straight. Was that an actual match? Yeah. <laughs> oh, true. They do have to go through the reset. So yeah. that's the thing about Calculus, though. He loves to joke around. All right, so we are getting underway here. This mic's by Yeah, that mic seemed very staticky. That mic seemed very staticky. Oh, this is much better. That was weird. He caped Ness, and he still got the PK Thunder straight, but he wasn't going to be surviving it. Everything is set back to zero on everyone's second stock. Well, Yep is actually still on his first. I do like... I do like all the mains, though. I really feel like, you know, it's been so long since we've seen Calculus as Bayonetta. Yeah. That is, just is Ness really Yep's main, though? I always feel like he plays Lucas more. It's both. It's dual main? He's a dual main. Okay, and yeah. because the characters are so similar, it doesn't take as much to swap it back. Yeah. You know? They do have two very different play styles, but they both are very similar. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting... Everyone's going their mains. Everyone's at the, at the top of their game right now. Things should be good. We are seeing um, Bestness is actually <laughs> not Getting, doing so hot. Yeah, he's being destroyed. <laughs> Way to put it lightly. <laughs> he might he might be going for flashier things. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. That was actually crazy. He might, I don't know what he's going for. Uh, 
Let's just hope he changes it up, adapts a little better, does, plays a little safer. I agree. I think, you know, Frozen and Best Ness, not Best Ness, Calculus, they they didn't like losing that first game. You know, why put yourself in a, in a worse position? Yeah, they want, they want to finish this out quick now. Which still can be done. It's yeah. just, it's going to be a lot harder, man. Oh, my oh, God. That was like three uppers in a row. Yeah, that was really gross. Yeah. This is the moment where you have to get rid of Best Nest as fast as you can. Yeah, so this is actually the, like, the moment of truth. All those other stock they took from him meant nothing until now. <laughs> where he took Yep stock. You got called. Yep. All right, I got to get going. I'm going to just start doing my matches, but wish me luck, guys. Thanks for letting me be on here. Oh, so he missed the catch and actually got hit by the PK flash. It looks like it's up to Yep to actually finish and close this game out. I'm actually not going to be here for the Arcadian Skyloft scene. I'm actually going to be in California with my family for a little while. But good luck to you while you're there, and I hope you do well. So uh, game two also goes to Red Team. So it's 2-0 uh, in this uh this grand final is it looking like there's going to be a possible reset right now. <laughs> Sometimes it's true. Sometimes. All right, running game three. They opted for battlefield at the moment. I don't know why they would opt for this. It's probably because the higher ceiling that's less likely to kill here with his up air. But these combo strings are going strong, and uh, looks like Red Team is still doing really well. Looks like they're trying to get that Mario out as soon as possible, focusing more on him. They're doing both teams are doing a good job of staying close to each other, following up on each other's combos, and in general, just trying to keep each other as safe as possible. I know for a fact this is an amazing stage for Mario. I don't know about for Ness or Bale, but for Mario, this is probably one of his best stages. And probably a decent counter pick to up air string or kill off the top. Yeah, Bale would probably be good too to kill off the top. Oh, that was destruction. All right. Blue teams are the first team to lose their stocks this game. It's not looking too good for them. Uh, yep, just lost his stock. Uh, Spencer's looking way better this game, not losing his stock nearly instantly. Uh, this is looking really good for the red team. Uh, he just barely misses the follow-up, gets punished for the nair, but it looks like he's going to be coming back to stage. And, oh, yep, with a great save. Hitting the kill on Calculus and saving Spencer, who just barely missed that ledge. Interesting. Yep, just barely making it back. Frozen going for that forward air, trying to get that early kill, but it just wasn't going to connect in time. Yeah, this is not looking great for the blue team. It looks like we are going to be having a bracket reset. But commentator's curse, so you never know. Oh, that's is a great recovery from Spencer. Bouncing off teching and then up being again in order to get back. Just that. Well, it's not a tech. You just tap up B again the instant you see the tech frames. But still, he did an amazing job recovering that. And Calculus is not letting him come back. That quadruple roll is going to be safe for uh, Frozen for now. And uh, he's going to try his best to get this stock. If they can get that next stock from Spencer, this game is actually going to be really doable. But they have to be very careful in doing so. They do not want to get, they do not want to lose another stock, especially at this moment.
Oh, and the cape coming out from Frozen just in time to get his stock. Calculus perfectly attacks that PK Rocket and is hopefully going to um, clutch this out for Blue Team. Things aren't looking too good right now, but anything's doable if you are really lucky and are really good at the game. Especially with this PK Flash combo, like, all this damage means nothing if they can keep getting that off. Yeah, Spencer was at, like, 16. He's back to zero. This is actually insane. Good spot dodge by uh, Calculus. I think they're just messing with Cap at this point. Oh! <laughs> you almost killed him. Alright, and that is game three. It is uh, a 3-0 for uh, Spencer and, e or Best Ness and Yup. So it looks like we're going to do a game. <laughs> we're looking at the bracket reset right now, so. Um, this is game one of this grand grand finals bracket reset. It's uh, still still the same two teams. Uh, hopefully, uh, blue team adapts just correct adapts correctly to this double nest play, and uh, hopefully can try to bring this back and win the this grand finals. But it's it's anyone's game right now. But it's definitely looking like blue team's game. He was really hoping for that jump from Spencer to get that, or from Best Ness in order to get that forward air, but just wasn't going to do it. And the back air from Best Ness is going to get Calculus really far off, giving them time to work on TJ, get his percentage up a little bit. They didn't take that moment to the, be or the best they could. But they did what they could in the time and went right back to trying to get one of them off stage and deal with the other one. Oh, and TJ getting the up smash right on the app. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it was his Nair. So, in that instance, if Calculus would have up-tilted and then did the smash, it would have connected. But because he up-tilted, it just clanked with the Nair. And it, or up-smash, it just clanked with the Nair and didn't do what it should have done. So, that's why if they're doing like a Nair or move that might clank with your smash, you should opt for trying to up-tilt and then smash. Just to get that clank out of there and then you can get the kill. Mario's doing a good job of stock tanking for this blue team. TJ's looking great. Ah, uh, yeah, he's still living. Both of them focusing on Calculus right now, who's at one stock and not looking too good. Finally getting Mario done with. They're going to focus hard on Calculus. Oh, he died at such a low percent. Wow. All right, guys, let's see if Blue Team can bring this back. It did not, it's not looking good for them yet again. But, oh, that killed actually, eh, it wasn't too early. Oh, the shield break is going to take Calculus to the ground. Frozen looks like he's not even going to try. He did have a up B he could have still used, but he, he looked like he just opted for the lose, and they're going to just try it again next game. All right, game one goes to Best Nest, and yep. Alright.
We're gonna do the rest of this. Let's try to do it in cross voice. So we got uh, game two going on here in uh, Smash. We got the little boy over there who's part of the Wood Chip Chippers Society. I have to say, it looked like the uh, the way Blue Team adapted the last game wasn't quite the right solution. They looked really well off at the beginning of the game. But Red Team just changed it up a little bit and like took that adapting and made it basically useless. So hopefully they can learn from that and do better this game. Spencer with the PK Rocket. That was a really like, that was a heavy read. And that was crazy. And then TJ or Frozen getting that good uh, forward smash to take you up stock. So far it's looking very even though, so both teams are doing really well. It's actually really refreshing to see Calx Bale. I actually haven't seen it in a while and it's it still looks amazing. It's it's actually fun to watch. But Frozen's Mario is also one of the best in to watch, it's insane. Blue team at the slight disadvantage right now, especially with uh, Bale being down in stock compared to everyone else. Frozen just trying to get that forward air for the Witch Twist, but just barely misspacing it. Going for that Frozen, trying to kill Frozen with that PK Rocket, just missing it though. Huh? Nothing? Yeah. Retin doing a good job of keeping these two uh, teammates apart, trying to make sure that they can't get any combos off. And, uh,. Yeah, Red Team's doing a great job right now. Yeah, they're they both back to even though. Yeah, they're both pretty even right now, and you were uh, good. Like trying to keep your teammates uh, apart, keeping them apart, is really important. Or trying to sandwich them together so you can get like something crazy. Like there was a gif online where there was two K DKs just down tilting each other, and they got like seventy percent right off the bat. Crazy. Yeah, so tripping's broken. Tripping is broken. That was actually a pretty smart uh, up air there since it also got yep away from the stage and launched his teammate back towards the middle of the stage. So that was actually a really smart play there. Yeah, and it also knocked him out of uh, the free fall animation for his up because he up beat away from the, the middle of the stage trying to get out of that PK fire. Yeah, that was actually a really great play. Ooh, Frozen was trying to get that spike there, trying to get that kill. He really wanted it. He did. Oh, but and there's that kill. It looks like the blue team is in advantage right now. Let's see if they keep it. And they don't. Ooh. Looks like it's just frozen now. Yeah. Okay, the the two double nests is broken. So they've been PK. They'll knock the guy, well, the first guy away. And they've just been healing each other. Yeah, they've been healing each other. Now, it was nerfed in, like, one of the last patches to the game, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. And it looks like now it's a 1v1 situation. I believe this is yet, though. Nope, it's it's actually not yet. Oh, it's, it's Spencer. Spencer, wow. Yeah. I'm surprised to see him not playing his uh, usual default outfit. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. I like the outfit, though. I like the way it looks. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's like an alright boss in Earth Realm, not... Huh? Like, it's the palette that is based off of a boss from Earth Realm. Oh, okay. You, like, fight to fight him twice in the game or something. Both of them are trying to feel out each other right now. Yeah, I know they used to play together a lot, so... Yeah, they used to They team. probably know each other's play styles really well. <laughs> he was looked like he was trying to get some cheese with that. He the flood. I think he was just trying to get him off of him, like make him check his space, push him away a little bit. But it just wasn't powerful enough to push him far enough oh. so that he wouldn't get that up there. 2 0. -oh. Alright, so on this reset, uh, Best Ness and Yep are up 2 0 right now. Let's see how the blue team changes it up in order to bring this back. Yeah. They have a long road ahead of them. Yeah, they do for sure. Are they going to. All right. 
I was gonna <laughs> see if they were gonna switch characters, but like, no, run it back. Yeah, they're running it back. Have they just played Battlefield the entire set? Mm -hmm. This is their main, these are their mains though. These are who they're most comfortable with. That's probably why they're not changing at all. Probably. Sometimes you can go for a hard counter like Infiltration, Street Fighter 4, how when he's went whoever the oil fighter. Yeah. It's so always switching away from your main. can help as long as it's Oh, that was, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a miss input. That was a footstool. By Fro for Frozen? Yeah, that was a footstool. No, he, he flooded and then he jumped and he could make it back. Oh, okay. I might have probably saw it wrong, whatever. <laughs> that was legitimately scary. I thought he was going to get uh, Spencer at first, but then he went away and looked like Yep was about to get fisted by that. Oh, and we lost Yep to the up tilt back air. Yeah. They did that. Whoa, that was a good play by Frozen. So he hit it. He gets hit by PK Rocket at PK. the perfect spacing. So that... You mean PK Thunder? So, PK Thunder is a trail. Yeah. And if Ness gets hit by it, it's called PK Rocket. Oh, okay. So, he... Spencer has a full, like, length PK Rocket because he hadn't gotten hit yet. And then Frozen it hits him just at the right spacing where, like, it's the max distance if it gets hit. And it's just below the stage. So, he can't get back. That was... Oh! Did you just see what Frozen was just trying there? So, he was in the free fall animation after PK Rocketing. Um, and then he tried to flood him off the stage. He was barely to be able to live... That was actually a 200 IQ play there. Yeah. Oh, he got the one coin. Oop. Looked like they were about to get sandwiched there, and... Oh, punched the microphone. Yeah, they are like doing happen. really good on stage control and healing each other like that. What, what happened to Frozen? Did he not make it? I think oh. they quit. Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think they've quit. They yeah. know that like, at this point they're probably not coming back. That is sad to see. Yeah, 